Hello, Tamara here. Nice of you to join me. I've got a bit of a different video for you today. This is, I'm going to show you how to put together the ink storage unit that um, Lisa Horton Crafts has brought to us. Now this one houses 24 ink pads. It um, was, was made primarily for your Distress inks and your Oxides but it does fit uh, other ink pads as well. Um, it does fit the new Crafters Companion uh, ink pads. It does fit them as well at an angle. But once we've put it together, we'll I'll go through and we can test the different ink pad, pads that will go inside it. If you like this, then please go and visit uh, that craft place and um, this is where you can purchase them for. So let's get started. In the kit, you will, yours will come really nicely packaged, but in the kit you will get a back piece that's got, um, it's a double width of your side, so it's got two, two columns of the notches um, lasered out. You'll then get two of the sides, okay, that's just one column of notches that goes on your left and right side. You then also get your middle piece and that then is going to hold all your sh um, the shelves nice and straight and secure. You also get a top and a bottom and you get a decorative feature that goes on the top. And then you get 11 of your shelves. Okay, so let's put it together. Let's start. Now, the easiest way I found to put this together is to work from, is to put your uh, shelves in first. So with your back piece laying on the, on the fl flat on your table, just, no, yes, start putting in your shelves. Now it doesn't matter, you can start top and bottom, it uh, doesn't matter. And they just slot in. Now you could um, paint this beforehand, but you would have to be very careful not to get any of the paint onto the um, tabs that fit into the slots. The reason I say that is, is because M it's MDF, and when MDF gets wet, it swells. So, because paint has got water in it, hence why your MDF will swell. If you don't get it on the notches, you, it may be okay. But to alleviate that and to um, cause an, any um, sort of headaches, I would paint it afterwards. Now, if you're careful, what I tend to use when I paint mine is I'll use a sponge. You know the sponges that you can get, the, the painting sponges the kids um, have? I tend to use those. They're quite good and they get in into all the, the areas that maybe a paintbrush couldn't get into. So, we've put those in and as you can see, it took no time at all just to slot those all in. So next I put then the middle part in. Now again, this just slots over the top and you just have to give it a little bit of a wiggle just to get them all in the right place. Hopefully get that done. Okay, let's get this one in here. There we go, work that way. There we are. And then there, you can see now it's starting to take shape. Now I've not glued mine yet. I just wanted to check that I had it right. So what I will do is I will then take it all apart and glue it as we go along. Okay, so that's looking good. So we take this bit out and then what I will do is I will speed this little bit up. But what we will do is I will put my glue... I won't um, do lines of glue. I'll tell you what, let me get 
Now I won't do lines of glue, I just do dots. Oh, that's probably too much. So I just do dots. Now dots will be give you plenty. Now I'm using Cosmic Shimmer, that's my glue of choice, but you could use um, Nuvo, uh, Tonics Nuvo uh, glitter, uh, glitter, sorry, Tonics Nuvo glue. You could use uh, Pin Flare book, book binding glue. Um, you could just use normal wood glue, that would work as well. Um, just use a nice wet PVA glue. I wouldn't um, advise you using like a gel, um, like a silicone, say like um, Kalau 3D gel, um, because obviously it's uh, it's not designed for this type of uh, of gluing process. Now, I've just got um, it's a paint, um, or I think. It's either a paint uh, brush, but it's got a silicone end. Um, I think it's for if you're mark making in uh, in paint and paste and things. And um, so I've just gone along and I'm just taking off the excess glue um, because I don't like that painty bit. So I'm going to take these all out and I'm going to glue them down. I'll fast forward this bit and then when I come back, they, these should all be stuck in. And then just push it down so that's then the start of our um, holder so now we can put on the sides put the sides on now for the sides I would again don't glue on the tabs just glue on the sides here so This glue is coming out rather quick. I'm not even squeezing it and it's coming out. So there may be a bit too much on there. Okay, so then we can just, I might just put a bit of glue down this edge, like so. Can you see that? You probably can't, down there. And then that's going to hopefully sit like that. Just rub off that excess glue because once you paint it you don't want um, to get like glue bubbles okay so that's one side let's turn it over to do the other Okay, then we can put the uh, sides on, so the, sorry, the bottom or the top, whichever you prefer. Right. One of these is a top and one of these is the bottom. So this here, with all the, the cutouts, this will be the top, okay? And the one that's got one side with no notches out, that'll be your bottom. So let's put our glue on. Again, just on the sides. Put 
good burnish in and then you can stick then if you want to put your decorative feature on the top so there we have it one glue storage unit all nicely prepared and how quick and simple was that to do so let's have a look what ink pads it fits now let's have a look I've got some oxides so oxides fit in there beautifully they just slot in there's no um, there's no fuss there's no mess and what I love about this is it's this is such a brilliant idea now you see I store all my um, sponges on the bottom of my uh, ink pads and when you slot these in the the actual slots because they're cut out and they've got like a big finger hole they actually sit in that finger hole so they're not going to get caught or damaged um, underneath um, when you put them in let's have a look now these are the um, Spectrum Noir Harmony ink pads now they fit in they just have to put them at an angle like so there we are hold it up that way so you can just see they're at an angle but they are going to fit in and you will be able to take them out actually they fit in there rather smartly you could even have them so that they um, go in opposite directions right you will just have to excuse the mess everywhere um, but as you can see with the ink storage with the spectrum wires you can have them so that they go in the same direction or you can have them go in opposite directions and they're easy to take out there's no fuss they don't slip on your hands or anything they just fit in there really well um, as I say with the same with the um, distress and the oxides now we've also got let's have a look but your archival will fit in there as well like so as I say if you want to get one then uh, please go and check out um, that craft place uh, Danny McIntosh um, cuts all of the um, MDF for Lisa Horton so um, he's a, a, a fantastic um, artist in his own right as well so um, go and check them out um, definitely get these um, I'm going to be adding to my collection I'm going to be getting another one of these um, so that I can put them on top so that we can um, I can show you then my whole storage um, of how they're going to look I'm going to I don't know what how I'm going to decorate it but that's in another video thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video I'd like to say a big thank you to Rachel Harris and Paul Ford for providing the made-up samples of these ink holders they are truly wonderful please subscribe hit the notification bell as well that's in the top right hand corner that way you will be notified every time I upload to YouTube. I'm also on I'm also on Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram and I have a blog as well. Just search my name Tamara Morton and it will take you where you want to go. Failing that I will put the links in the description down below. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.